Hello everyone. I have a pattern review for you today for a top that is so quick to sew. It will probably take you less time to sew it than it will for me to create this review video for you. It is the latest itch to stitch top and I think you're going to like it as much as I do. I'm Sharon. Welcome to my channel, a channel all about sewing. The top I'm talking about is the itch to stitch Gothenburg top. It is a knit pullover top that only has three pattern pieces, three pattern pieces in eight steps. That's how easy this pattern is. I was a tester for this pattern. When she put out the call for pattern testers, I looked at the line drawing and I immediately liked that funnel neck and the shape of the top as it gave me a real retro 60s kind of vibe. I could just picture it with a pair of capris and flats. Kind of like something the character Laura that was played by Mary Tyler Moore in the TV show, The Dick Van Dyke Show. That's what I was envisioning when I saw the line drawn. Then when I saw it had darts and individual cup sizes, I signed up to test it. I know I've mentioned this on my channel before, but I just think a dart in a knit, especially when it's a structured knit, just gives such a nice shaping, especially if you are fuller busted as I am. Let me tell you about the pattern. This is a PDF pattern and it comes in sizes 00 to 40 with cup sizes up to a double D. It has a very subtle high low hem and that funnel neckline that I mentioned. What I love about this funnel neckline is the designer intentionally drafted it so that it doesn't pull back and choke you. This is designed for knits with a 25 to 35% stretch. So think of a knit like a ponte knit or a fleece or a scuba or even a nice cotton interlock. I think any of those would be really beautiful. As I mentioned in the introduction, there's only three pieces and eight steps to sew this top. There's a front and a back and the sleeves. Cup sizes are available from A to double D. And in the instructions, it will walk you through what size you should sew based on your upper bust measurement and your full bust measurement. And it is a little bit, and it has a little bit of shaping. So it kind of skims the body, which I love that in a structured shirt. If you're fuller busted like I am, I like having just a tiny little hint of a definition of a waist. It doesn't make me look so boxy and top heavy. I used a red ponte knit that I had received last year in a Fabric Mart mystery bundle. Once I pulled it out and then I pre-washed it, I feel like there might be a little bit of a wool in here. With the mystery bundles, you don't know what the fiber content is as you don't know what the exact fabric is. But the color, isn't it lovely? I wanted the ponte knit because I really wanted to emphasize how that neckline stands up. And this sewed up beautifully. You can see the shoulder seam kind of comes up with the neckline and then the neckline folds, folds over. And then I've got it tacked at the shoulder seams. I didn't need to do anything else beside that. But when you wear it, you get just a tiny little drape right there in the fabric, which looks beautiful. You can see it is a high low hem, very subtle, and there's not much else to tell you about it. Now for me personally, I needed to shorten my shoulder seam. I've got very narrow shoulders and I also shortened the sleeve and I think I shortened it by three quarter of an inch. I have narrow shoulders and sloping shoulders and I almost always need to shorten my sleeves. I didn't do any other alterations. I'll put the details of the size I sewed in the description box below. Once I was done with this one, I thought, what would it look like in a French Terry? Now, when we test patterns, we do everything exactly as designed with fabric that the designer wants. Our role as a pattern tester is to sew things following her instructions, using her fabric suggestions so that she can look at the final garment on a number of different people. Because of that, I waited till the testing period was done and then I quickly stitched up one out of French Terry right here. Definitely soft. You can see that this still only has about 35% stretch, but it's very soft. And because of that, that neckline is very soft. It almost kind of folds down on itself. I like that look too. This one is one that I've already worn multiple times. It works out beautifully when I wear it with a pair of leggings, just kicking around the house or walking the dog. 
Now, I think one reason I was so attracted to this top is that it's very similar to the one I shared with you on the last Friday sews. And that is the Sandra Betzina 7771 Vogue pattern from 2000, I don't remember, did it say 2003 or 2001? This has that funnel neck also. I like both of them. I talked about in the Friday sews video how much I like this sweater. Obviously, I've kept it all these years. This is a really good alternate. With any new itch to stitch pattern, it is on sale for about one week after the release. I think it took me more time to print the pattern, tape it together and cut it out than it did to actually sew the top. My second version, the French Terry, because I had already completed my fit adjustments, it took me less than an hour. I cut that out and stitched it up. Actually, I think it was about 30 minutes. Such an easy sew. I do have a link in the description below if you're interested in purchasing the pattern. It is an affiliate link. All that means is that if you use that link, you don't pay anything extra, but I get a very small commission. It's one way you can help support this channel. And I really do appreciate it when you use my affiliate links. There you have it. That's the review for the new Itch to Stitch Gothenburg top. And until next time, I hope you have a blessed day. Happy sewing.